my fellow comrades, I'm LiberalPlan678, and welcome to Kino Hearts Union Cross. My first ever uh, Kino Hearts Let's Play. It's my con a contribution to this whole marathon I'm doing to prepare myself for Kino Hearts 3. And, uh, and surprisingly, it's also going to be my, my first Let's Play on my iPad. Yeah, I'm not too using BlueStacks for this because I told you before about like my problem with BlueStacks that if for some reason it doesn't put on want to play Union Cross, especially whenever the game itself gets updated, like like a major update where it where it shows like version 1.0 to like 2.0, when when it does that for some reason BlueStack just completely screws up. But now that I've got the uh, the proper equipment to record, uh, like, uh, mobile devices, like my, like an iPad or iPhone, iPod Touch with Elgato. Now I can actually play this, uh, play this game more, I guess you could say officially, I don't know, I don't know how to put it in words, like, more authentic in a way. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're gonna to check out the story mode. And, uh, I actually got myself up to date. To the, uh, to the story. Yeah, it's like a quest like 825 or something, yeah. But, um... However, I'm just gonna show you like the only the, the quest with the cutscenes and it, it's thanks to this. Right here. Uh, when you, uh... When you tap on filter, uh, filter here and you could choose these. I just select like the, the, this to be enabled. Oh, uh, to only show quests that has the the movie cutscene icon right here, so that way, any quest I do, there will be a cut uh, a storyline, uh, like a story cutscene, either before or after the quest en uh, ended, which is uh, good because the other quests besides that are just like you you just you're just trying to like uh, find the target, uh, like the target. Uh, Heartless or enemy, and you just move on to the next level. That's it. Nothing significant really happened, unless like you get items and such. But nothing related to cutscenes and story related, anything like that. So, uh, and before we do that, might as well just get you uh, started. For anyone who's uh, who has never actually played Union Cross, I might as well show you the cutscenes because I do not want to go. go I do not want to, like, uh, lose all my progress, because I don't know how starting a new game is gonna work with Union Cross, because I could just click on the new game, but, uh, it's, it's probably gonna, it's gonna take my, uh, Facebook account uh, with it, and uh, erase everything I've done. So, I'm just gonna, like, uh, play through the story with my, my current setup, my level and everything. But before we get to actually get started with the game, I might as well get you acquainted with the beginning cutscene here. It is uh, Power of Light. Yes. This is pretty much where your character is born, I guess. That's my character right there. And this is where you uh, choose your union. Either you're on Ava's team, Ased's team, uh, Ira's team, Gula's team, or Envy's team. You have weird names, but I don't know how to pronounce them. So, that, I just call it like that. Oh, yeah, and we have the, the darkness going to swallow your character, but... For some odd reason, your character is able to wield the one and only... Keyblade. That's right. <laughs> the Keyblade holds the power of light, the power to drive away the darkness. Yes, it does. Although I don't have that key, I don't have that keyblade anymore. I have uh, this is my setup here with the sleeping lion, almost completely upgraded. And uh, yeah, here's my pet here. <laughs> he has that little hat, uh, hat thing from the from the Christmas special. Okay, with that out of the way, let's. Uh, oh, whoops, it's back to here. Hold on. Let's just get back to the the main story. Okay, right here. So, this uh, we're gonna start at the prologue, and we'll probably do around maybe uh 
Well, since uh, some of these levels are actually... Since uh, some of these levels are actually skipped, since it's only showing the ones with the, uh, the cutscene icon, then... I guess we could do up to Quest 15 and then we'll stop. But for now, let's begin here. Yeah, exit out the gauge, whatever. Do I set up and yeah, get a Fred Metal there. Okay, let's find the target shadow. The mega shadow. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I had this uh, set on auto, so that way I don't have to like swipe the screen or tap or anywhere. Uh, on any of the enemies, so, uh, so I can just watch the action, uh, just happen. Okay. So, if this is your first time playing it, how this works is that these medals here give you the power to fight. And you tap on one of the enemies here to actually, you know, actually fight it. Or, or if you want, if you want to attack all enemies, you can just swipe the screen like that. Which is cool. And of course, there's an option to actually... I'll show you the second. It should be here. Yes, the, the target. And there's a lot of shells, so this could be good. You could actually use uh, your metal special abilities by going over to your metal here and then swipe. Le yeah, like, like it says right there. Boom. Boom! All of them are dead. <laughs> Great. That's... Uh, Pretty much how you fight in the game. Of course, there's an option to do the the, uh, the Nova, and in my case, I had the Supernova, which is uh, apparently a new thing in, uh, recently in Union Cross, which is like a more powerful Nova attack. I guess I'll show you, but here, here's the cutscene. Pretty scary stuff, huh? But you get an A for effort. <laughs> you look a little confused. Here's what's going on. Your pursuit of light, uh, of light made you the perfect candidate for a Keyblade Wheeler. Darkness is spreading and it's up to you to, to use a weapon to get rid of it. Collect light and in turn, save the world. The monster that was just defeated belongs to, belongs to the- Oh crap, belongs to the darkness. Well, the Heartless, yeah. These Heartless scour the world searching for hearts. Spreading darkness as they go. The Keyblade is an effective weapon against them. Yeah. Of course, thanks to Kingdom Hearts 1, Sora actually saw that, you know? I hope this is all uh, this is all sticking in. Anyway, I was assigned by a certain someone to watch over a new Keyblade wielder, you. I'm Chirithi. I'll be supporting you the whole way, teaching you everything you need to know and more. Great. And I have a Chirithi on my head right there. That's like a Chirithi Snuggly of some sort. I don't know exactly when I got that. Well, whatever. Nice to meet ya. Right now, that Keyblade is just like you. It has room to grow. To unleash its true power, you'll need to use fragments. Special metals that you that you could set in your Keyblade. Anyway, that's a lot to take in. So why don't you use the Heartless here for some practice? As a general idea. Now we go to Quest 3 now, instead of 2, since it has a cutscene. We're gonna take- we're gonna find a soldier. Let's go. I might as well actually show off the, the Nova and the Supernova. See, just in case any of you guys aren't familiar what they uh, what those look like or what they do. So here you guys, this one. This is Nova. Boom. Yeah, it does a good amount of damage depending like which enemy you're fighting. Oh, just yeah, destroy that <laughs> destroy that barrel for whatever reason. Yeah. Anything down here? No secrets? No, okay. Now... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll use the... I'll use the... This thing here. The blue thing. That's the supernova. I'll use that when I get to the target. Just to, like to... You know, to show off his awesome power on the... The final enemy to in this quest. Okay, here we go. <sighs> so... If, if you ever have a, uh, a friend, or you have a me uh, a metal that has the supernova effect, you uh, you tap on this uh, blue icon here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Hold it, and then go like this. Yeah. This is what it does. Boom! That's, o that's literally overkill. Right there. 
<laughs> yeah, that's uh, Supernova. It's pretty much a way stronger version of regular Nova. Which is cool. Okay, boom, boom. Yeah, whatever. Now it's gonna show the cutscene about, yes, about my my teacher, my no, my union leader, which is Envy. What's up, Master Envy? How are you doing? You've managed to tap into the power of the Keyblade. Lesser well, Heartless won't stand a chance, but in order to defeat stronger foes, like what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh yeah, Dark Side. Oh no, it's Dark Side. <laughs> uh. You must combine your strength with those who share your purpose and aspirations. Oh yeah. And they all have the same Keyblade, wow. <laughs> your friends will become your power. My friends are my power. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I did, I've been needing that. Okay, oh, whoops. Oh, I had to, I had to set on auto here. <laughs> but whatever. I was gonna kill it easily anyway. Yes, the raid boss is defeated. There we go. Seems pretty simple, right? There are others who collect the light, but not all of them share the same goal of bringing peace to the world. You must discover who amongst us walks the path of darkness. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> Thank you for the insight, Envy. <sighs> hey, Jirithi. How you doing? I know this is overwhelming, but darkness waits for no one. In fact, it's uh, it's found its way to a bunch of other worlds, which need your help. I know a way to, uh, to these places. Are you ready? Let's do uh, let's do it, Chirithi. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the the first world is gonna be dwarf uh, dwarf woodlands. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it should be the Snow White world. Okay. Then, all right. <laughs> yep, here it is. Dwarf Woodlands. You and you. Let's get started. Ah, the Evil Queen. Of course. What? Uh, uh, what uh, wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? I like how the these cuts uh, these cutscenes of the Disney movies like Snow White they really try to do their best to actually put all the key moments and such. But uh, they're pretty much trying to replicate the movie in a way. Famed is thy beauty, Majesty. But hold, a loving maid I see. A rags uh, cannot hide her gentle grace. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Oh no! I wonder who can it be? <laughs> Even though we all know who it is. At last for her. Reveal her name. Yeah. Lips red as the rose. Hair bl uh, black as ebony. Skin white as snow. It's Snow White. It must be. Snow White. Yes. Alright, here is the here we go in the game. <laughs> Alright. Uh let's see here. Nothing here. Yeah, I don't need to bother with like these. The, uh, these items, like Curative Leaf and Spring Water, because those are ingredients to upgrade Keyblades, like Treasure Co uh, Trove. That's like the, the Keyblade for Dwarf Woodlands, but I pretty much upgraded that Keyblade to their ma to its max, so there's not really no need. <laughs> so, yeah, these chests give out, yeah, the special it's for the special meter. Yeah, here. Okay. Uh... Oh. Get, get rid of the target there. Okay. Swipe. Boom. Dead. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't really... And uh, to let you guys know, it doesn't really matter which metals you use. Because in the story mode, you can use whatever metals you can... Whatever metals are most useful to you. And wh whichever Keyblade is useful to you. Because there are enemies that have these... The, the red, which is, yeah, the, these, uh, g uh, gem things. This is like the power gem. Uh, this one is the speed gem. And there's like a, uh, there's like a blue one that's about magic. 
Like, if you go... Uh, if you, like, go... Uh, where is it? Yeah, here it is. Uh, this thing here. You have to keep it... Uh, if you want, you can actually keep an eye on that. So, you can see which one is actually weaker than the other. Like, like the, the red... The red gem, uh, the power gem is strong against the speed gem. The speed gem is strong against the blue gem, and the blue gem is strong against the the red gem. So if you want, you can actually set your your keyblade to have those kind of metals, so you'll be able to get, kill enemies much easier. But uh, later, if you ever uh, decided to use to play this game in prow mode, you'll be stuck using a, a certain keyblade. And you have to use certain metals, so that's gonna be harder for you uh, for any anyone that wants to do prowl mode. It's the same as uh, playing this normal story mode, but but the enemies are much much stronger, and you're restricted to certain keyblades. All right, so we got the uh, the dock dwarf uh, here. Why why? Who are you? I was standing right over there, and I saw you, uh, you use that key of yours. To get rid of those uh, teachers, uh, creatures. <laughs> yes, it's a keyblade. I like how they already uh, could tell that it, it looks like a key. They've been nothing but troubles. Uh, I, I kind of said that. Sorry. Oh dear, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Doc. Me and my friends, uh, Smirk and the Twine, uh, working in the mine. Good for you, dude. Today was just a plain old day. Until those those monsters sprung up out of nowhere, we all ran out to chase them away, but no one's come back. Yeah, that's true. Oh well, where could they have gone? Well, maybe they're somewhere in the forest. I should uh, thank my muddy jars, uh, uh, lucky stars. You showed up. I didn't know what to do. I was sure I was done for. Yeah. So I'm guessing you're. Uh, I gotta. I gotta have to help you. Yeah. Well. Uh. Well. Perhaps you wouldn't mind helping me f uh, find my friends. I'm sure I could use a band. Uh. Stand. Uh. Your help. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Let's do it. As long as I get, I get to kill Heartless, that's basically what I'm trying to do. You will. Oh, thank you. Eh. Yeah. We had to go into the creepy forest. <laughs> To find the the other dwar uh, dwarves, I know one of them is uh, like uh, anger, and the other one's about sleeping. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been way too long since I watched the the classic Disney films. So I'll show you the way to the mine. Maybe we'll see one of the men on the way. Great, let's go, Doc. Ah, okay. Now we get we get to this part now. Okay. We'll just uh, kill all the, the heartless here. And if you want, uh, these, the, these objectives here, you don't have to do it. It's optional if you want to actually like, try these out and try to complete them. But there are certain well, well, the objectives that, you, that might be impossible for you. Like if you... One would say, like, use a metal that has attack boost. And you don't have that, so you obviously can't complete that objective, but you can still complete the, the quest itself. It, it's not like you have to complete these objectives or you can't move forward. It's nothing like that. Already completed mine, so that's fine. Yeah, and it's always a good idea to actually look back to areas uh, that you've been, like uh, around here like I was before, just to see if there's any like treasure chest you might miss. You, know, you never know. You might go stumble across a metal that's probably like very useful, like this one right here. I actually had this metal, which is the King Arts 2 Kai metal, for a long time. It was a six-star metal, and then recently, I have enough. Uh, I have enough uh, evolved metals that uh, that can evolve tier eight metals, and I and I pretty much upgraded this metal here to. To its high le uh, highest level, and now it's it's able to do a lot more damage now, which is great. All right, that's what we got here. The mines uh, through the forest. We can't be too careful with, th with those pesky monsters around. Right. Yeah. Protect Doc from the heartless. 
And it's not like a, like an escort mission where you have to like literally defend Doc from the Heartless. You just like you just like I'll fight him like you usually do. So it's nothing like it's a, it's not like an escort mission where you have to like like the Heartless can actually attack Doc and he takes damage. And if and of course if he runs out of health then you lose. It's nothing like that, which is which is great. I sure feel safe with you here. Thanks, dude. Okay, here's the Heartless. Oh, now we got four of these things. You know what? Might as well try out the other medals. Just to show you what they can do. Here's uh, Armor of the Master. Boom! Yeah! There we go. Jiminy Crickets! <laughs> I thought that I'd stop uh, at our cottage first, but we have unexpected visitors. Ah, uh, the Heartless, of course. We gotta do something before they dash our gnome, uh, smash our home to smithereens. Will you help me? Yeah. I care to looks determined. Let's do, let's murder some heartless. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna go after the big guy. I don't really need... It, it's not exactly... You don't have to actually... Like, the, kill every single heartless you see. Unless you're playing on the prowl mode, where you have... Uh, where you have to like, I mean you don't have to, but it's to it's to get these uh, special items. But yeah, it's special items, and you have to like complete the objectives, like destroy all enemies within one turn or something. Sure showed him, and now our cottage looks just dandy. I'm gonna take a peek, uh, peek a peek, <laughs> uh, take a peek it's inside to see if anyone's come home. Good, you do that. Be darkless around the college. Right. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, don't want you to do you. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, we'll do uh, quest uh, 10 and then stop it there. No, don't want to, like, uh, record too much. Just to, like, start this off. I want, I want to, like, get this uh, video up. Because I've been done wanting to actually do. A let's play of a, a mobile game. So, I figured Kino Hearts Union Cross would be a perfect one for me. You know? And of course, it's uh, my co contribution to the whole. to the whole, like, uh, Kino Hearts Marathon and such. Boom. Okay, that's not even a test. Might as well get rid of you, just because. Okay. Ah. Get rid of you. Boom. Boom. There. Yep. Nothing to it. <laughs> this time I'm already over Wobble for this. Hey, hey, Cheerthy. You seem to be doing all, all right. I can't say the same for the person you were talking to. He looked pretty worried. <laughs> yeah, he was worried. Yeah. You know what? I'll stop it here. Just like how Kyle did when he played uh, Union Cross. So... That does it for the first part of King Hearts Union Cross. And, uh, you might be wondering, will I be able to actually get, get to the latest quest before King Hearts 3 comes out? I'm not sure exactly because I have, like, other videos to do. Like, like Kyle plays, Carmen plays, my Road to Finance and Airport Sister Location playthrough, and of course, playing Finance and Airport Sister Location itself since it got released. So. It might not, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna, like, stop playing Union Cross. Like, when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. I'm just gonna, like, uh... Do my thing with Kingdom Hearts... With the third game, and then... Continue with the Union Cross, and any other videos I have planned. So... I hope you guys enjoy this episode... Uh... This, uh... The first part of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And subscribe to become a follow comrade today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!